I can never fuck with these sad guys. Dropping on and she bad times. Taking her back for her ass. I think she in love with my cash size. Put a little heart like bad vibes. Can't give me no cash time. Phone got a hobby. Counting these racks in my pastime. Got back on me. Take a champ. Be mad with a tragedy. My bitch still look a mess of bitch. I'm gonna try like a cavity. Huh. If Trump asks me questions, they tell it shit. Family. Chris Greer has come out and made all the two of haters mad by pretty much saying this. He was our guy. We're excited for him. Uh, he's healthy. He's uh, going through his off-season work right now. Uh, Skylar Thompson did a nice job for us last year when he was forced into service, you know, with uh, the injuries to Teddy along the way. So I'm um, excited for uh, Skylar's development, too, and as well as Tua's uh, continued trajectory in the uh, Mike's offense. But, yeah. Now... That being said, get ready for Big Oost to really shine, for him to really progress in a system that really got us to the playoffs in the first season of operating in it. Imagine adding a defense with Vic Fangio on the other side of the ball. Things are going to look amazing this year in South Beach. Let's say we don't even make a splash I feel like we'd have a huge difference already with the team well I'll say defense we already had if we just implement Vic Fingio into that lineup because how many close games did our defense cost us just from blown coverages or bad defensive play calls last season Anyways, I'm saying it now. Dolphins will be top five, top tier team this year under Vic Fangio and Mike McDaniel. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and as always, think with greatness.